special connection and uh, feeling for the real horse. Very early, since we have a meager soil in this part of Sweden, we have much sand and stone. It's no good for agriculture. There were possibility to work in the forest for people. So they lived for weeks in log cabins. Horse was so immensely important to the people who lived here. In free time in the evenings, they started to carve a toy for the children home. And very often they choose just the form of the horse since they love the horse so very much. The special thing when you produce a horse, you can see here the production sequence. We start with a piece of plank, it's a waste wood from Sillian sawmill nearby. We take our pickup with sacks of horses and uh, go mostly up north of Dalarna. And uh, there the carvers sit in their homes and carve the horses for us. So it's a home industry. We can always tell who has carved a horse and who has decorated it. Each artist has their own and run to my neighbor who had an antique store and bought that horse. So <laughs> Four main reasons why the Dala horse was born here. The love of the working mate of the forest, this fantastic material to work in. Knife, curb its decoration. I'm new at this. My old friend said, maybe you would like to paint some horses? And I said, yes, I think I would, <laughs> actually. It's not like we're ordering people to, you must produce that and could you please carve some for us? Then it's very important to have the continuity and the understanding. We are, have so many people, they work voluntarily when they want. We have painters who sit down and paint and the first horse is just perfect.